Why she put these niggas in the hearse? Shoot a movie with the Dutchie killer verse. Killer verse. Killer verse. It's DJ Who. I'm um, M80. I'm Messy Jules. I'm a female rapper from Cincinnati, Ohio. They call me Miss Me. It's Crack Boy, man. I'm Rax a Million, man. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Shit, goddamn, y'all stands me. No, I'm stupid videos. I'm Sasha Engineer. That's how I came to be. It's your boy, Young Vay, man. I'm Young Chapo from the group NSK, No Sleep King. Tuan Gotti. I'm My Jules. We got Kill Will. Cincinnati interview take one. I feel like, like back, like some years back, it had much more of an impact though. Just because, I don't know, it used to seem bigger. Like when I was younger, when I was, like right before I got into music and right when I got in, like right after I got in, it, used, it was like a big thing. Like it was like, we thought the people that was popping from the city, we thought they was famous. Like Cross and Showtime and niggas was looking up like, damn, these niggas, we really thought they was big for real. Uh, well, um, I I actually had a fan, a diehard fan. Shout out to Tina, cause she's a diehard fan. Um, she was actually in the hospital and she was going through like a real a real bad illness and she's like, I heard your music and your pain and your music and it got me through like basically a coma or something. Like she was in and out, you know what I'm saying? And the music, my music it inspired her and she's like from, you know what I'm saying? So. City, it affected a lot, man, I mean, I mean, but see, the thing about it is, you can get it misconstrued, like, because Cincinnati is so, it's so much music in Cincinnati, like, everybody and their mama trying to rap. Everybody and their mama trying to make music. Um, but that's cool with me, because, you know what I'm saying, maybe that's what gets you through the day. Maybe that's what gets you through life. I don't know. Um, we had a nice uh, run. We had a nice couple of runs on a couple people, but it's just not impacting as much as it should be. We have a lot of talent out here, like people who you never heard of, but who can blow, can sing their ass off, or can rap, who has something really to say, and and they know how to deliver it, but you ain't heard of them because of the um, the opportunity out here, mostly for real, like you, like you have to leave just to, you know, it's a lot of people who left just to get where they needed to get to because the outlet out here is, is slow. Turtle. I feel like we got our own little culture and we, we build off a lot of other cultures, you feel me? Like a lot of our music similar to the Atlanta music and different areas like South Sound and shit. Then we got niggas that rap like East Coast still, like it's crazy, but niggas still rap like Motherfucking, um, like it, we got we got a deep music culture here. Like we listen to everything, make everything. Like in this building we in right now, with somebody to make samples, trap music. All, you feel me? Like our city music to me in this city is just, just as big as music is in Memphis, Tennessee. So, I mean, you know what I mean? Somewhere where you know we got fucking Isley Brothers. Boots and Collins, man, motherfuckers from here back in our days and our parents' days was rocking the fuck out. Big ass, dumb ass concert. But then you get to a new generation where, hey, everybody feel like they want to be, they the shit, they number one, you know, ain't nobody better than them or, you know, or they don't want to see, they, they don't want to see anybody else make it, so they're not going to support them. Listen to our music, you going to know we come from the struggle, you going to know we, we trying to better ourselves. You're gonna know we like to turn to up. To me, music for our city is the way out. But nobody knows or understands what it takes to get out. Everybody here is so crammed on trying to prove to the people here that they better than the next person here that they don't understand that you have to branch out in order to really excel in your music and really get a uh, opinion from a, a greater source of people that's gonna get you on people don't make it here <laughs> well, I think I think Cincinnati got a we actually a big part of music because you know funk it started here you know what I'm saying and since we're in Cincinnati the Midwest I think we adapt to all the the regions around us the music here man the music here is is Billboard chart music that we have here. Mm -hmm. 
we do have it. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? You got the but, talent. You know, feeding off of Vade, hey, nigga, we ain't gonna never get past the motherfucking huh? Best songs in that? the world. They gonna keep stealing our shit. Pay attention. The industry gonna keep stealing our songs. We'll never get past the huh? And they gonna keep putting it out before we can. Coming to the city, stealing our swagger. Ah, uh, cause we can't come got, together. Got, and get it together. Got, you know, people gotta understand. Like, we all going to Atlanta. Just, you know, we all we all go to Atlanta. Everybody from the city go to Atlanta. But have anybody ask themselves why the fuck do Atlanta come here? Pay shows. Is it money in the city? Can Pay artists make shows. money in the yeah, city? Yeah, I've been making yeah, money in the yeah. city all these years, so I throw my events. All I, my events I, are I, successful. And I can vouch for that one. Like, we have a gimme type city. Like, bro, you should give me a video. Bro, you should give me a beat. Bro, you should give me studio time versus, no. Nobody takes the producer series. Nobody takes the videographer series. Nobody takes the, um, the engineer series. But they want you to take them series. Which is so much, it's so hypocritical. It's like, we get to that point to where it's producer versus artist. Like, uh, engineer versus artist. Videographer versus artist. And it shouldn't even be like that. It's, it's the unity, man. There's no support. Everybody got something to say about something here. The men act like females, and the females act like men. So, you know, you got people, you got the, the dudes, they got the men, they always gossiping and saying what they, if they scared of a motherfucker, they really ain't gonna support him because he a real motherfucker. Real people don't really make it too far here. It'd be some animated motherfuckers that get all the way up there, not a real motherfucker. I think we are. I think we have artists here that's there, um, that goes consistent as, um, as the other cities or whatnot. I just think we don't have the instruments or the tools here like whereas in LA you got the big studios you got the people that's actually there that's also peep things and willing to invest the only way you're gonna get over that hump unless you go on the outskirt of the city you you don't have to go to Atlanta you don't have to go to Cali you don't have to go to New York you don't have to go nowhere just the outskirt of the city support it because you got you got artists that's ass, but they know marketing. You feel me? Like, no disrespect, but it's like you got artists that's like, okay, but they know how to market or they have a certain support system. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got a lot of people out here who who are, who is live. Is live. Like, has what it takes. It's just about them promoting themselves, about them connecting with the right people to get them where they need to go it, it, it's, it's about money but it's never that serious you feel me like uh, and you gonna you gonna spend that money you gonna spend that money it's, and, and I if you gonna spend that money I want you to put it all in the advertisement I feel like we got like a little bit of a a thing where we feel like we because I know me personally I feel like we deserve it but at the same time we don't because we ain't taking the proper steps as a whole unit. You know what I'm saying? We got individuals that's coming out of the city doing their own individual things, but as far as a whole, it's like, like Cincinnati has a history. It's like, it has a musical history. Like we got big people from here, like legendary people. We got High Tech, we got Boosie Collins, we got the Isley Brothers. Just the Midwest, Ohio in, in general, we got a whole lot of musical history. Like we used to have King Records right over there in Evanston. Like King Records is a, a historical music, you know what I'm saying, a flat platform from that's based out of Cincinnati. So But some people it's not meant though. That's just for like people that's gonna hustle and really be serious about it. Like because a lot of people miss their opportunities. You know, it's decades and decades and people miss their opportunities. A lot of people miss their opportunities. So, you know, it could be one of us, you know what I'm saying? That's why that grind, that you can't give up and, and praying and knowing you can do it, because we can do it. Like, you feel me? They did it. Mm -hmm. But everybody don't think like that. But for the ones that do, that's why I feel like it. We hustling too. We coming from, they humans just like us. Right. And they, all they did is change, sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? Had to give up shit. If you really want it, you would do it. Motherfuckers don't know how to act. We, um, 
shit, we get Jeezy here. Motherfuckers wanna either A act dumb or two or B motherfuckers wanna like don't like I said, people don't know business. So they wanna come at the promoter or the manager all crazy and then with some low numbers or just on some BS and it's like shit, like he don't even wanna be here. He gonna perform at least. Man, cause at the end of the day, man, this industry is a business. You feel me? Like the industry is a business. When they come to your city, it's love, but they don't come for free. They paid to be here. They get their bag and they gone, you feel me? So it's like, shit, ain't no friends in business. They just get what they can get up out of us and then they out. Like Cincinnati is a music town and it's a consumer town too though. Cause we, we are part of, we're part of like the, the circuit that a lot of artists come through to blow up and get more exposure. Cincinnati is important, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like, it ain't just a city you can just go past. You can, you know what I'm saying? Cincinnati is a, I always say it's a big, small city. Like it's a small city in a size, but it's a big city because of the influence and the the, the major corporations that come out of here. So it's an industrial town, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of people know we from Cincinnati. You can go somewhere else. Just from how we talk, they know we from Cincinnati. But our music scene just ain't, it just ain't where our recognition is. You know what I'm saying? I think we need to boost that up more, you know? And I think a lot of people in the city need to work, work together more. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop being prideful and just put that to the side. Maybe we get somewhere if we do that. Our aspect of it is harder, I would say. But if you got the skill and the mindset and the team of like dedicated guys or whatever that's behind you, then yeah, you would soar. But I think it should be more collaboration. I think as a whole, a more of a Michael Lennon and their artists, they all work together and they kick the door down. Now the door's open and everybody's been rushing through for years. Like I think that if we come together as a whole. You know, and show everybody else from outside of us that we're not being crab in a bucket-ish anymore. We actually are working and pulling each other up. One climbs out, holds his hand down, and pull the other one up. You know? In our city, per mm -hmm. se, right now, really, we where we could just, man, we could take off. That been at any time, though, like, for real. You know what I mean? Like, the city just ain't sticking together. That's the all, that's all we gotta do is stick together, stay focused, you feel me? and everything gonna go straight, you know what I mean? But everybody ain't sticking together. Everybody on, we together, but we ain't together type stuff. You feel me? So that that's the problem right now. Like everybody crying about this and crying about that. Like, you know, everybody need to get on one page for real. Start working together for real, you feel me? Like it, it got to be that. I would say everybody coming together, but I don't see that happening for real. You feel me? Everybody could say that like, so really like, I don't know, I don't got an answer to that question for real. Everybody, you feel me? Everybody, I know everybody gonna stay in their lane. Um, I see a couple people come together, you feel me? But when everybody start coming together and everybody support everybody, then we gonna see a big difference. I feel, I feel like that's something just people say because they say that shit, you feel me? Like everybody just need to, and that's the motherfucker opinion that don't really know what's going on, you feel me? Like, but how many times do you call my phone? You, you feel me? Do we stick together or what, my brother? You feel me? Like, and it's a million motherfuckers that can call me and ask me for some studio shit, a ride to this, to that, to whatever, you feel me? Like, I feel like we good for real. Like, niggas tripping with that negative energy. Like, we good, nigga. Niggas working together. Like, somebody that I feel like work great together, you feel me, is motherfucker like Sparks and Latina, you feel me? They done did countless songs to the point where Latina start venturing off and working with other producers and Sparks start venturing off and doing more songs with other people because of the success that they shared off of sticking together.